Hi everyone, I'm Sam Tucker and I'm a Mac user. Although I'm pretty sure I might have to hand in my Apple card because, well, I've done something despicable in our cult. I've installed Windows. Windows on my beautiful Mac. Let's see if we can hold on to our bowels. Oh, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, yes, we have Windows here running on our computer and it is already asking for money. Last time we used Linux, which is the least corporate and least cooperative operating system. The app store can't be used to search for apps or install apps because Linux. But now we are well into business territory as uh, the first thing that happens when I log on is that Windows wants me to activate it by buying a product key. Although there is a secret tip that I've heard about in Windows and that's if you just click the shush button well, it stops nagging you. You know, Apple could um, learn a thing or two about not extracting all of my money. In fact, I actually uh, <laughs> bought another Mac just the other day. The keyboard doesn't actually work on the thing, but it looks pretty, so I, I hold, I'll keep it anyway. I also managed to get my hands on what I think a typical uh, Windows PC looks like. A little bit of a difference here in uh, size, weight, and, and girth. But um, uh, I decided for my own sanity that I would install Windows on my M1 MacBook. The way that I did that is, well, I did it the most Mac way possible, which is I opened an app called Parallels and said, give me Windows. And would you believe it, it gave me Windows. So I am thankful for that at least. But I tell you some software that I do want to install and that's our sponsor, UPDF. Whatever you want to do with a PDF, you, PDF can do it. To show you how it works, I'm gonna fill in an application form because I always say that I work at all these tech firms, but now I'm gonna prove it by filling in this employment PDF. For Microsoft, as you can see here, UPDF has automatically detected all of the fillable fields here. State, quite happy at the moment. Are you legally eligible to work in the US? Tell you what, I'm not the biggest fan of that question. So what I am gonna do is I'll just highlight that and cross it out. Are you willing to submit to a background check? Well, I'll tell you what I am willing to do and that's switching into edit mode. And I'll just change that question to, are you willing to submit to an ice cream? Position you're applying for, let's ask the UPDF AI about this one. It can uh, summarize and translate PDFs, but today I'm just going to ask, what's a high ranking job in a tech firm? Oh, chief technology officer. Yes, I think I could do that. Okay, for references, I think I'll just add an image of the kit eye here. That ought to scare everyone. Okay, well, this is uh, this is looking pretty good. Get you PDF Editor Pro today with an exclusive 63% off with the link in the description. Have a fun time fiddling with your PDFs and check it out today. Okay, so yes, here we have Windows 11 running in a virtual machine because the last time I ran Windows on an actual machine, I couldn't lift the thing. I see that Windows has taken a little page out of, uh, out of Mac OS pages because they've put little icons down in the middle, which uh, is very similar to Mac OS. Apparently it's 85 degrees today. And because I use Celsius, I think the F stands for F that's hot. And um, it is a little bit hot in the studio under these lights and it's not air conditioned. I can't even turn the fan on this computer because it's fanless. So if you see some sweatiness, it's because I feel like I'm doing something naughty, which I am using Windows on my Mac. All right, top story, Russians unwilling to lose position. So we've got a little bit of war. We've got a bit of uh, strong gusty winds and thousands of corpses. So. Um, I'm glad that Windows decided to put this very easily accessible on the home page, but it looks like <laughs> after you've had enough of that terribleness, you can just get your mind off things with the game. So let's see what we have. Farm Merge Valley, Bubble Shooter, <gasps> Solitaire. Oh, so it's open a browser. It used to come with Solitaire. Now I've got to launch an Edge browser. All right, this is my first experience with Edge. It looks like it's blocking ads, so that's uh, <laughs> that's a good thing. Although it's its own website, that's Microsoft, isn't it? So they're losing their own money, so not the best. All right, so you still get to play Solitaire amongst a bunch of ads on this side, a bunch of other games on this side, a, a, a web browser at the top, and the usual stuff down the bottom. All right, let's ask Bing. Hi, Bing, why doesn't Windows just come with solitaire like it used to. Stop responding. <laughs> Bing doesn't want to be asked the hard questions. It wants me to stop 
what I'm doing. Okay, so chatting with Bing has been a great experience. Let's see what we have on the start menu. Have you ever wondered why they don't have a stop menu? I wish I could click that right now and go back to Mac. All right, let's click start. Uh, first thing I notice is that I'm annoyed that it comes with ESPN and Prime Video. Is that actually installed? <laughs> no, it's not actually installed. It's called an ad. It's called an ad right there, not even in a, in a screen, but in a menu. You might say the most important menu, the start menu, to start doing things on your computer. Well, I don't want to start an ad, and now it is downloading. I didn't really want that to happen. I thought that the apps on my computer were apps that I had on my computer, so that's strange. Let's uninstall that. Oh, 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 okay. So to install that ad, it was one simple click, but to uninstall it, oh, we have to confirm that we're sure, because I just accidentally clicked right click and then uninstall my bad. Why does Windows have such a small little calculator? Ooh, does the calculator not come with Windows? Ooh, it's hot in here. Somebody turn the fans on a typical Windows gaming computer. I need some, I need some airflow in here. Ah, this might do it. Family, where's my family? Back in Australia, send help, send ships. Cause I'm, no, oh no, it's too late. I'm in the Microsoft family now. It's a, it's, it's a lovely place. Ensure your family gets home safe with Windows? I don't understand. Does it actually come with Office? This is the big selling point for Windows. Welcome to Microsoft Office 365 app. You can have a free one, can you? Okay, so I tried to sign into the Office app, but apparently my email was too personal. I need to be more official. I need to be more businessman to be allowed to use a Office Sweet. So that's okay. I don't think it's that sweet at all. Three hours later. Okay, so I've jumped through three legal hoops and asked the setup wizard if I'm allowed to use Word. Let's see if I can. Uh, give me a blank doc. Unable to open your document. We created your document, but we can't open it due to a pop-up blocker. Please go to your browser settings. But I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the official office, the office app. Hmm. Oh, I just saw myself in the camera there. I know, that's a little bit... Disappointing. Look, I'm just trying to get myself in that full Steve Barmer mode, all right? Developers, 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 developers. Woo! Okay, let's try another classic that I know of, paint. Okay, so let's draw a happy face. Oh, well, this is looking a little different to um, the happy face that I imagined. It's a different, uh, it can be a happy part of uh, the individual, but you probably shouldn't have it on, on, on your screen there. And you certainly don't want it to look that color. So um, don't save that. We don't need anyone to know what we've done. Well, here we go. This is a um, staple on all windows. I'm surprised it hasn't uh, installed this itself without my permission. And those are updates. Oh, it is installing them. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it's doing a 69 just to really rub it in. <laughs> okay. You need to activate windows before you can personalize your PC. But look, I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Windows knew that it made a mistake by letting me do that without activating by saying "do safety remove hardware and eject media turning that off that is something that uh, Mac OS could learn from Windows because check this out what I get in Mac all the time is a whole bunch of these <laughs> messages saying that um, I ejected things improperly so um Mac enough with that let's go to the Windows store did it not install its own store on the computer? Oh, I've got a message. What does it want to tell me? Microsoft Store. Yes, what's happening with you? The notification. <laughs> it, it's notifying me that it's not working. Let's ask Bing. Sorry, it looks like something went wrong. Well, that's what's been happening this entire time. Let's finish it off with a bit of gaming. Because I hear that Windows is very good at gaming, so I assume that Windows running on an ARM processor in a virtual machine while screen capturing the, the, the software and everything will be a beautiful, beautiful experience. Time to play the new Starfield. Let me play. Included with Game Pass. Okay, so it looks like Microsoft wants more money. No one wants to give me anything for free except for the operating system that I installed without an activation code and I'm going to continue to use it. It doesn't even have the little the little mark here that says, Oi, stop freeloading off our software. Well, stop freeloading all my data, Windows. I know you're sleeping with it at night when I'm not looking. Okay, and that is our first lovely experience with Windows 11. It had some fancy features. I wasn't allowed to click on most of them, but I have to say, I am impressed. I cannot wait to uh, close this computer and uh, fan myself off because I am not quite a fan 
of that software. But the software that I am a fan of is UPDF. Get UPDF Editor Pro today with the link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone. Apologies for the titties. And I will see you next time. What operating system should we try next? Let me know in the comments below. Sam Time signing off. Subscribe today. Oh yes, you can still defrag. Thin provision drive. Well, you don't need to judge my drive thinness. It's, it's semi-transparent, the best type of transparent. Although, yeah, if it's fully transparent, then you can't see anything. <laughs> oh, a light shirt was, was a bad choice.